Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Brie TV. If you're new here, I am Brie, your posh ex kind of soft grunge brat doll slash Barbie doll. And today, you're gonna be seeing me in this little setup for a couple videos. I'm gonna be doing a Sephora haul today. And we're in front of my vanity today. So yeah, that's my hand. And I'm just gonna be going through everything I got from Sephora. I got, I think around 17 or so items, some skincare, some makeup, and yeah. So without further ado, let's just get into the video. Okay, so getting started with the haul, I kind of just put everything I bought into this little purse I have. By the way, this is a $2 purse I got it from Shein. If I can find the link, I will put it in the description box. Yeah, I love Shein's purses. Should I do a purse haul for Shein? Let me know if you want one in the comments down below. I think I have like 20 purses from Shein. All in total cost me less than $100, but that's not the point of this video. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna pick randomly from the bag. And I have two other items over here because I couldn't fit them in the bag. And we'll just go from there. Some of these I'm actually excited to open because I have like show y'all because I haven't opened them yet. So yeah, um, first, I think I can show some of these two at a time. So first up, we have the um, Mademoiselle Lipsticks from Fenty Beauty. This one is in shade PMS and this is in shade Spanked. So PMS is like this big brownish color. It's a really pretty brown. And then I would say spanked. It's like this rustic, would you call it mauve or like reddish tone color? I'll swatch them for you. So the first one I've swatched is, I'm sorry, my swatches are not the best. First one I've swatched is PMS, I mean, spanked. And then the second one is gonna be PMS. So as y'all can see, this one is spanked and this one is PMS. I kind of like how that looks on my skin. I love warm tone and like brown, red colors on me. Maybe it's just a preference. I don't know, but I love how they look on my skin. Next we have the Sephora lipsticks. They were on sale for like $4, y'all. I don't know. I just, it was an impulse buy. I've never used them before. Um, <laughs> Lord. So this one has, I think these are like the story lipsticks or something. You have the lip stories. This is in shade Festive. This doesn't look like a color I would traditionally wear, but I don't know, let's see. Okay, no, I could probably, I could wear that color. Notice how we're still kind of like in a normal color story, like my typical color story is showing here. And then, yep, this one is shade Made in, is it telling me it's Made in Italy? No, I, shade 79, huh? Okay, shade Fireside. <laughs> shade Fireside. Ooh, that's a really pretty red. Well, like, would I call that red? I don't know. Yep. Oh, yeah. Look at that right here. That's the color. By the way, these are like $5 or less. And it feels so nice. So, actually, I would recommend these. I'd probably buy more. I'm not a lipstick person. But I would buy more of these. Like, that's a nice budgie price, I feel. Um. Next, we have... I can do three of these at once. Um, we have the Fenty Beauty Lip Cream Glosses. So this one is in shade Honey Waffles. This is in shade Fruit Snacks. And this one is in shade Cookie Jar. I'm actually wearing Cookie Jar on my lips right now. It's like this nudie brown, not nudie brown, but like, it's a really pretty brown lip gloss. If you cannot tell, I love my browns and reds. So I'm going to swatch that. It also feels really nice. Like, I, like look at this, y'all. Get into this. I think I have lip gloss on my teeth. That's fine. But, like, you see that? And then I'm going to swatch the other two. So from top to bottom, we have cookie jar, fruit snacks, and then um, honey waffles. I hope y'all can see that. Yeah. If you can't, I will put, like, the swatches right here of, like, on me. I'll take a picture and put it up. But yeah, I really like that. My favorite is um, cookie jar and then it's fruit snacks. Honey waffles is nice. It's just I'm not really a brown lip gloss person. Well, like a light brown because that's like an orangey brown. I'm more of a dark brown than 90s lip. That's me. Um, the next two lip glosses I have, why not? Um, I have the normal like gloss balm from Fenty Beauty in shade Sweet Mouth. I just think the fussy one and I think I have all of her original collection. Not kind of like the Christmas ones, but like, I just have to get fussy and I think that's all of them. But yeah, so this is a really light baby pink gloss. Um, 
I don't, should I just, I'll add it to the arm, why not? It's like an, would you call it baby pink or ice pink? You can't really see that, y'all. Not on me. But it's it's a nice lip gloss. Just on me personally, I'm like, I feel like I should have got fussy because it's a little bit of a darker pink. This is too light for me personally. I don't really like light, like light, light lip glosses. If I do that, I might as well just wear like a clear gloss. But of course, that's user error. I should have known that when I bought it. But other than that, it is good. I'm not going to act like it's not a good gloss. It's just not my personal. I'm not, it's not what I would normally go to if that makes sense. But I should have known that when I bought it. And then, oh my god, I live by this gloss, bro. I live by this gloss. This is the Lip Maximizer Hyaluronic Lip Plumper from Dior. It's like, okay, this is a little sport. It's like $30 or $32. It's worth it. Trust me, it's worth it. I love it. It's a lip plumper and it doesn't sting your lips like Too Faced. And yes, I do use Too Faced. I use Too Faced's plumpers. I haven't worn any plumpers in my normal lips. But some people think I don't need it. I don't care. I like plumpers. I haven't worn Too Faced in a while, but I noticed it stings your lips. This one does not. It does not sting. You may feel like a little tingle, but it's not like that stinging, burning sensation. It's so nice. This gives you that. This is the um, nude brown lip gloss. It's like, I think this one's $32 to $30. So pretty. Like, so, so pretty. I wish I could put this on for y'all, but I don't want to take off this lip. But I'm going to swatch it on the, I'll just put it on the side of my hand. So it's right here. I'm running out of ways to show y'all. But it's this one right here. It's really nice. It shows up better than out of your lips. I don't know. This is my go-to lip gloss. Just like if I'm going on a day-to-day -day basis, I always wear this. And like, I don't know. I just love it. I love it. And I, I put Chelsea onto this. If you don't know who Chelsea is, she's my best friend. Um, I will put up a... I'll link her most recent video in the description below or something. You should check her out. Girl support girls, who cares, whatever. I mean, not 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 whatever, but like, you know, girl support girls. Yeah, you, you get my point. But yeah, I put her onto this. She likes it too. I don't remember if she got the specific shade or not. They have like three other shades in this one, like in this product, and then they have lip glows. Or is it, I think it's lip glows or lip moisturizers. I gotta try those next. Um, Then, oh, I have another Fenty. I didn't really list, didn't realize that. So this is the Fenty um, Stunna Lip Paint in shade Uninvited. It's her black lip color. By the way, these are very pigmented. They do not come off easily. Like, I tried to just take this off. I was thinking like, oh, it's lipstick. It's I can take this off of like water. You cannot just take this off of like some water and a wipe. No, get you some makeup remover because it doesn't come off that easy. So that's a good thing though, because that means it doesn't transfer easily. And you can wear this to a drink or whatever, or if you got a man or a girl or a however your spouse chooses to identify. If you got a somebody of any kind, if y'all want to, it's not going to transfer. Keep that in mind. And this is, I think I got this for, was it 18? I don't remember how much I got this. I'll put it in the description, but it's nice. Also, look at. Like, look at that, y'all. Look at the applicator. I think that's so interesting. Because she doesn't do it with her other products. But this one, it's like... And, like, look at the shape of it. It has a little slight... I don't, I don't understand it, but I like it. I'm going to get more of these. But hold on. So, um... <gasps> Yo, just the way it transfers. It transfers kind of cold. But the way, it, like, you can just paint it on, it's so just... <laughs> that sound effect's going to get my nerves. But <laughs> so just... I don't know how to explain it, but you know. So that's the black. <laughs> this is so awkward with my arm. So that's the black. You can kind of see how these products all dry down on my arm as we go through the video. So yeah. But that's this. Oof. <laughs> Hold on. You just see my phone in the background. It's fine. So that's the swatches so far. So yes. I noticed black lipstick is not my forte. I do not look the best in black lipstick. But if y'all, if anyone is like my skin tone or around my shade or darker, well, actually in my case, I think someone, I need someone who's actually like my skin tone who can tell me like the best way to rock this with based on my undertones and everything because I don't know how to rock black lipstick. But if anyone has any recommendations, please let me know because all I've been doing is wearing this and like gloss over it and it's just, I feel like this feast the purpose. But yeah, if you have any recommendations, let me know. Ooh, Rare Beauty. I've been getting into Rare Beauty as of, really late, as of recently. I'm getting into Rare Beauty. It's Selena Gomez's line, by the way. 
and I got two of her um like what is it called it's her lip somethings her lip creams like they're like matte lip creams I got the little um bundle they have on Sephora for like I think $20 or $25 you get two mini lipstick liquid lip you get two of her little lip products for like 20 or 25 dollars um this is in shade fearless and this is in shade inspire so that's what a mini looks like that looks like a little struggle if you can see that um let's just go in right at, i'm gonna go at the top of my hand now y'all just so you don't get confused so the Remember, rare beauty products are at the top of my hand. All the other products are at the lower half. So I'm like, I'm really just painting this on my wrist, if it makes sense. So. I'm sorry for the swatch you're about to see. It wasn't really easy for me to paint this on my hand. I don't know why that is. But, um. Yeah, so that's what. Yeah, that's kind of messy, see? But this one was fearless and this was <laughs> and that was inspired the red one um i like the way they feel my lips but it's not my favorite like if i was to tell you get fenty or get rare beauty i would say get fenty but and it's not for a bias region reason i just prefer the fenty over the rare beauty one but i like selena gomez don't act like i don't like her i love her music I don't love it but I like her music she was part of my childhood so yeah um next I have these I don't remember how much these were I think I got them as samples actually with gifts I bought for other people but these are some loose pigments and like loose glitters from Anastasia Beverly Hills so we have this one and we have this one so maybe I was going to show you my ColourPop glitters, but they're not Sephora. And I got those for Christmas. And y'all saw that. If you haven't seen it, it's in my Christmas video. But, um, okay. So I'm just going to put it a little bit in here. So y'all can see what that looks like. It's a little shaker thing. So you just shake the glitter out for this one. I know it's probably a waste. Because, like, why would you do it if you're not going to put it on? So I guess I'll just put it. There's no reason to. If you want that euphoria type glam and you don't you could honestly get the euphoria look from like ColourPop products which are really cheap glitters for i think three dollars and they're really nice but if you want to be like oh look at my anastasia if you want to like try and get that plug you want to try and get that promo well i mean you could spend the money but like you could get the same look from ColourPop, and you probably have a better chance of getting their pr list like like an easier chance than anastasia but I mean, to your own, I wouldn't know. I'm not anyone's PR list because, you know, I'm me. The last of Rare Beauty. Then I have a few more Fenty and some other brands. And yeah. So this is the last of my Rare Beauty products. This is her concealer. I'm actually wearing the concealer right now. I just have concealer and um, lip products on at the moment. My skin looks bad, though, because of my cycle. I hate life. Okay, so back to the makeup. So this is my... um. So from Rare Beauty, I got the concealer, which as I said, I'm wearing on my face um, with just the Fenty and I brush my eyebrows. And then I have her blush. I've heard from so many people and um, one of my favorite YouTubers, Amanda, I cannot remember the end of the name. Amanda, I will just put what her YouTube right here. Um, I know she loves the Rare Beauty blushes. They're very pigmented. A little goes a long way. I realized that. Cause I was like, maybe I'll put on some blush and I put on a little bit too much blush and I had to just take it off. Cause I was like, yo, I'm a little too. <sighs> but yeah, a little nothing goes a long way. I personally love Juvia's Places blushes a little bit more because they're cheap. -er. And I just, I really like liquid blush. I don't know. I do like how this looks. It's just, I'm not a liquid blush person, but I'll still show y'all like, this is the applicator. Again, more what's that for everyone that slants? That's the applicator. Is it like for cheek hugging? I don't know. But that's the applicator. Um, I think this was like $20 or something. It wasn't more than $25. I forgot. Again, I'll leave everything in the description. And then I think it's the same applicator for the concealer. I actually really like this concealer. It was much, it had, like the coverage it gave me was pretty nice, I feel like. 
what do y'all think i feel like it was a decent amount of coverage for like i think i did like one or two swipes that's how i find my concealer like i'll do like one and then two and like i'll do one pat it in and i'll go another one and that's like my two layers but yeah okay um i have a little bit more product stuff y'all bear with me okay so we have the fenty beauty Sun Stalker Bronzer in shade Moco Mama. Moco Mommy. I'm sorry. Moco Mommy. I got to get another one. I had to get this one because I got the shade Teddy in the cream one. And it was too close to my normal skin color. And I was like, that's not going to work. So I went and got this one. It's a, it's darker. I feel like this is definitely more mine. I've used it once in a picture that's currently on my Instagram. If you go look, I will put the picture up right here. Please go like or comment down below on it whatever or share it up to you um i don't really can like tell but i used it as a replacement for contour because i couldn't find my contour so i like how it looked it's a really nice i'm going to take this on vacation if we ever go on vacation again <laughs> i'm going to take this on vacation so it's me and i just oh, this made me sad no i don't want to talk about it anymore this is remind me of vacation i can't go on vacation whatever um okay and last for the bag, then I have two products over there, is my Too Faced. I got two um, mascaras from Too Faced. This one is from the little Christmas ornament they do. It's a mascara. I got the little mini Christmas ornament. I put it on my tree, so I opened it. So that's the mascara, the Better Than Sex mascara. It's a mini. And then I got, you know, they came out these little collaboration with a bunch of influencers. And like, you... They had, they had all these different designs for the Better Than Sex Mascara, even though I already have like two of them plus the mini. I was like, I really need that marble one. They had like a Galaxy um, and a couple other prints, but like I really was into the marble one. So the marble one is by I Love... I don't want to pronounce her name wrong. Um, it says Social Superstar Karen. I don't know how to pronounce her username and I don't want to mess it up or butcher it. So this is what she looks like if you know her. I will leave her at in the description as well because it's gonna be with the product y'all should check it out i really love first of all get into the packaging bro like the packaging is so pretty um so oh my god y'all look at it look this is so pretty bro and i love the feel of it oh my god this is so nice what is this Is this instructions for mascara? I'm so confused. Whatever. Um, I don't know what this is. I think it's just like description on the mascara. I don't know. But <laughs> terrible. I was like, you probably should read it. I don't know. But um, I really like this. It's so pretty. Like, I don't even want to use it. I which is stupid because I bought it, but like, it's so nice. Also, don't forget to recycle all your packaging um i'm a member of eco club right i'm also the treasurer for my school's charter recycle your packaging because it can be reused to make new packaging for all your makeup i know this is probably like okay and but like y'all you're hurting the environment you're hurting the animals environment just please recycle your packaging if you can if you cannot i understand but like if you have the means to recycle your packaging do it because they can reuse them to make new packaging i don't know there's a couple programs throughout each state that does um re that like collects recycled packaging you can like, earn points for it you can look it up on google because i do not remember i can't like link every state and i don't remember the program where i found all the information but yeah just like look up on your local like just on google if you have any local programs near you that accept old um makeup packaging to recycle it doesn't have to be makeup i think it'd be any beauty product but yeah and then hold on last but not least we have <laughs> we have okay so last but not least we have two milk is one of my favorite brands since like october i don't know what it was i used in october but since then i love i think it was their kush mascara which i'm also currently wearing i didn't put a lot but like i love the kush mascara i love their brow gel i love their lip balm like their um kush lip balm or whatever it is so I went and I was like, okay, let me see what well, their skincare is talking about. And I saw really good reviews on the Melatonin Overnight Serum and the Vegan Milk Cleanser. So I was like, okay, vegan. That sounds interesting. And melatonin. 
I don't know, they're just called my name. So I got them and I've been using it for a while. And before my period hit, my skin was looking nice. And in this leisure, when you wake up with this, bro, when you wake up after using this, your skin feels so soft. It feels so nice. I'm not even lying. That sounds so extra, but it feels so nice. I'm get, get into this. Buy this and buy this. I love, like I love. Also, I use the Ordinary's products and I use the, um, I use a, it's a little thing Kerology gives you. It's not their moisturizer or their cleanser, but it's the little thing that comes in a white bottle. I cannot remember what it is. Their acne thing. I use that as well with a mixture of um, this and the Ordinary's products and my skin, I swear, feels and looks so good until my period hit. But other than that, I love it. I swear by those products hold me to it if you want i love their products but yeah so i just had to plug these real quick so yeah that was everything i got from sephora i know i probably rambled here and there but if you like any of the product out if you like or have tried any of the products i showed leave in the comments down below what you thought of them do you also like them or do you not do you have any products you recommend let me know if you have any video ideas or makeup brands that you suggest i should try let me know in the comments yeah i don't really know what to say oh wait don't forget to um don't forget to like if you like the video like it helps comment subscribe if you like the energy i don't know but yeah bye